not a single family that I find who doesn't have a life insurance policy. Yeah? <laughs> you don't have, um, okay, wonderful. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, so you see, insurance. Okay, and here's my favorite thing that I love to say about insurance: life insurance, particularly. So, life insurance is inversely related to the wealth that you have. Which is to say that if you have wealth there and which is adequate according to our calculations in mathematics, you don't need insurance. But because you know your your need of wealth is there, but you have actually this much, so therefore this distance. This distance here needs to be bridged. And that's where you bring in insurance as a risk management device or a little bit of a tool for a temporary period. So let's put some numbers onto that. Say we do some calculations and we tell you as a family, you need to have $10 million, just as an example. But you have maybe six at the moment, putting all your assets and your, your properties and everything together. So there is a delta of four. Now this delta of four could adversely affect the family in a time of adversity or in a time of some sort of emergency. So therefore, sometimes life insurance can be breached. So now, speaking about life insurance, speaking about inferior product, so 90% of the products sold in India are inferior products. See, there was a time uh, before the year 2000 where we were a more developing economy. I would say we are much more developed right now. So what happens is at that time, the rate of interest was much higher. So even if you invested in life insurance, you were making 10% and 11%. These days you make three and four. And with a private insurance company, you make even lesser, one or two. Which is why the case to invest in an insurance policy doesn't happen. However, you can still buy a term plan, which is a fabulous insurance. So I had a friend, I met friend, client, I mean all clients become friends, all friends are clients, something like that. So I was in Bangalore and I remember this very interesting example. So he said, I have eight crores of insurance and this is a term insurance. Term insurance, by the way, is the cheapest insurance that you can buy. Okay, so if you're 40 years old, I'll just give you an example. For a one crore of insurance for a 40 year old person, the premium might be somewhere in the range of 10 to 15,000. The same thing if you take an investment product from an LIC or any other company, you might end up spending about as crazy as about five lakhs to 10 lakhs for a premium. So just imagine, the the difference, you can buy the same one like benefit at such a measly cost. And you don't have the obligation to continue year after year, you can stop it. So if you stop it, your cover goes, that's it. As simple as that. There's nothing to lose, nothing. It's like your motor insurance. So if there is an accident, you get benefit out of it. If there's no accident, that's good, of course. And, uh, you know, your premium has come to some use. 